Is there anybody in here with us? She said they get, they see a child looking out the window. That bell over there or one of those balls, I know you would, if there's a child. There she you goes. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you so much. Are you one of, are you the child they see here? So far, all we've got is the motion light bulb, which is awesome. And there goes the periscope. You can come on in. We don't mean you any harm or disrespect. We just want to know who you are and communicate with you and tell your story. If you're still here, can you make the light bulb go off again or turn the flashlight on or another piece of our equipment? It's like the one stick is red on the periscope, like they're standing there, but it's not, they're not moving. Can you come in closer in the room? It's okay. We don't bite. We are in the ladies' parlor, so. So I wonder, you know, this was the original post office before they moved it down to the store where it was. Yeah. So you wondered if the priest gave out the mail. You know what I mean? Were they the post man? Yeah, that's a good question. Because it never said who the post man was. It was the post office. Right. Manager, but not who was running it. Correct. And the same as the, the store down there, R.M. Brooks. Yeah. Um, that was the little post office area. You know, did the grocer <laughs> or the person running the store well, there? What we learned from Mooresville is whoever was the postmaster moved the post office oh, into their building. building. Correct. And so that makes you think that this priest was the postmaster. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Now we're thinking correctly. Thank you for that. You've got this now. You know what to do. Thank you. This is awesome. Did the wife of the priest do a lot of the postmaster duties? And it shouldn't be. We have no... It's down to 59. It started at plus 60. And it kind of felt a cool breeze and my legs before it started dropping. dropping. So, was the postmaster the priest that was black? Black, black lock? lock. Did we get that right? It was black lock that was the postmaster? Or ran the post office? Thank you. Come on in and join us. This is really nice of you. That's pretty neat, isn't it? Pretty colors, too. Sounds like a tea kettle. Oh, you're right, it does. This was originally a house built for Hugh, right? So maybe Correct. when he had the house built, he had the post office put in his house. That's true. Is that how that went? 
And then, you know, he wasn't here. Yeah. He really did. So didn't. maybe when the priest family moved in, they kind of took it over and he, killed somebody else. He, 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 you know, he gave this to Blacklock. He was a friend of Hughes. Blacklock was a friend of Hughes. Is that correct? Blacklock was a friend of Hughes? And he let the Blacklock family move in here. Yes. yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And can you turn that off, please? I have a question for you. Um, Blacklock had in the church, there's a stained glass window in honor of his mother Mary. Is that correct? And I think there may be one in honor of Madame Hughes also. Do you know anything about that? Is that correct? He's almost ready. Can you hear it? Do we have some Earl Grey? That's my favorite. That's going through. Look how all the colors are lit up. Mm -hmm. Thank you for turning that on. I'm getting cold, really cold. Shiver. We're going to go to the library next. Did you enjoy going to the library? That was nice time. You think somebody's got some late signs on these books that are missing? Probably at somebody's house. Or they took it with them when they left. Or yeah. It's only five le five missing. Long term loans. <laughs> That's pretty good. Could have burned up at the Calvert Inn. Yeah, they could have been over there reading it. And Would you hear when the Talbert Inn burned down? First, second, or third time? I know. Oh. Three times. I wonder why that kept burning. What was happening? Yeah. Yes. That was that must have been scary. I heard a voice in the hallway. Kind of sounded like the hospital and before that came on. Oh okay. yeah. Could have been in the locker. Yeah. Okay. That's why I mentioned it. The first burial in the cemetery up there was a child. And his his family's not here, and his last name was Bone. Eddie James Bone. Did you know Eddie James Bone? Yes. yes. Thank you. Yeah. Are you Eddie James Bone? Did his mommy and daddy move away after he passed away? Yes, yes. Ooh, we did. Thank you. Thank you. Can you turn your flashlight off? I have another question for you. Um, were you here during the typhoid fever epidemic? that happened here in town. I think that was in 1887, I think. Is that Nicholas? Hmm? Is that Nicholas? Did Nicholas mean anything to you? I 
of my country. Is Nicholas a first name? So this is obviously somebody that was back then. All right, somebody who knows the history. <laughs> That's true. Mm -hmm. Are you the person, the young man? Yeah. Thank you. Can you turn that off, please? I want to verify my question. And that could be you standing at the window, too. It's not bad. Can you turn that off, please? I have a question for you. Are you the young man that started to help rebuild this community? I mean, you... I think you even had a family, so you weren't really a young young man. But you started when you were like in high school, and you were actually from Oak Ridge area. Your family still lives in this area. What time? Okay, we're gonna have to leave. Some of our friends are gonna come see you. Yeah, some of our friends are gonna come and see you. I'm sorry, but we. We can only stay a short amount of time. Thank you for speaking with us. It has been very nice of you to speak with us.